before that, how did you hear about the Asebo Pan African village, the free land given to the diaspora? Right. So I, while I was in the UK, living in the UK, I used to love watching YouTube to see what's going on. So then I came across you, <laughs> you know, and talking about some free land in the motherland. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Echo Simpson. You already know. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Ghana. We are in the rainy season, but today, for like two or three days, we've not experienced rains. Yes, because we would love to, you know, have the sun, you know, to do our normal drying and everything. You know, the fishmongers will need it to dry their fish. Anyway, so I'm here on the Asebu Pan-African Project land. Uh, I know you know about this beautiful project that is ongoing. Uh, 2019, uh, the president said, yo, my brothers and my sisters from the diaspora, you are welcome to Ghana. And then the chief of Asebu said, okay, if you're coming to Ghana, then you will need a place to stay. So then, um, you know, we started talking about it. And I remember I made a video about the free land. Now, I am here with one of the participants. Yeah, I'll say participant because he's participating in moving, repatriation, you know, from out there onto the motherland. So today we're going to talk to one father, one uncle, one brother, Byron. Byron, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you, Ikel. Before that, how did you hear about the Asebu Pan-African village, the free land given to the diaspora? Right. So I, while I was in the UK, living in the UK, I used to love watching YouTube to see what's going on. So then I came across you, <laughs> you know, and talking about some free land in the motherland. And I'm always interested in coming back to the motherland, you know, um, because yeah in my 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 head you know i always thinking that you're not free until you come back home to the motherland and so this is a great opportunity for me to see that they're giving some freelance here in um in a sable yeah okay so mm -hmm. so i uh you know take all the details okay. um and then you know, books a, a flight and wow. get on a plane and, you know, come and see the chief and, <laughs> and talk to him and get some freelance. So, you know, I'm here. This been what, about uh, just over a year. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell, he saw the video that I made about the free land. And that, were you skeptic about moving to the motherland? Did you know anybody here? No, no, I didn't know anyone here. Wow. So, <laughs> so, so then, how did you how did you gather that courage to say I don't know anybody there, but I'll still go? Well, I don't know, but I always have courage. I just I'm a person who can just get up and do things and okay. go, you know. So I just thought, yeah, I'll just go to the motherland because I always want to go there, and you know, there's nothing to scared of or frighten of. When I come, I can always. You know, find a hotel, I find someone, you know, so I just came. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So, so far, you are the first male to have the land in a Cebu. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I'm one of the first. To one of the first. <laughs> okay. And I've seen some project that you are doing already. But then, um, you being in Ghana and not knowing anybody, what was the whole process like for you to now say that okay now i am okay to be in ghana yeah um after i came to ghana um i meet up and some friends oh, okay. you know from one from the caribbean and so we we were chatting and things and then you know he said i can stay at his place okay. And so that was great. I just got lucky. <laughs> you know, so I, I've been staying at his place ever since. You know, we came and we became good friends. And, you know, we got out. We go all over the place mm -hmm. together. Uh -huh. The Asebu Project. 
how is it going with you what i mean what are you doing actually on this land are you building a residential uh property for yourself or you're looking at you know doing something else with it yeah i'm doing everything <laughs> you know because there's so much opportunities okay. so you know i'm i'm building a residential property so i can stay on the land and also building a business um a black making business and maybe a warehouse later on okay. to add other things, you know, in the building materials. Mm -hmm. So we can help others who's coming in okay. to get build, to build their home too. One interesting thing about speaking to Byron and then listening to him is that he's not only here to build, to stay in and just rest. He's also, you know, investing his knowledge into helping others here he's he's built a brick making factory for you if you're coming to the motherland and then you pick to stay in a sable this is where you're gonna get your bricks he is gonna supply you bricks right right so then when he comes, there's no need for you to be roaming around traveling elsewhere to go buy bricks how was the how was the process like starting a business because people would like to know yeah well i spoke to the chief you know because I, being as I was the first one here, you know, we, we used to go and see the chief and talk to him. And I told the chief what I was doing. And, uh, you know, he says, yeah, we've, you know, I said, I, I will need some residential uh, land and some commercial land, you know. And he says, yeah, I can do that for you. Okay. So um, we had, uh, so he came down, he took me down here mm -hmm. and he showed me the land. And, uh, you know, he says, okay, you can have that as your resident, mm -hmm. as your commercial and the one over there mm -hmm. for okay. your uh, residential. Okay. And uh, so that's what we did. And so we came and we, we start working. Mm -hmm. We get bulldozing, we level the place off and uh, we bought some machines from um, Accra. And, uh, you know, we buy some containers and set everything up. We're back with the part two of our conversation. And then we were talking about him having his residential place and then also having, you know, investing into brick making machine. So we are at the site right now. And then we're going to talk about what really goes on here. So if you're coming to Ghana, you want to live in Ghana like he is doing, I think you should come with an investment idea. Don't come and just stay here and live off your salary. I'm, I, I think people can do that. You can choose to do it. But I feel that right now I can see about almost 10 people working with him. And that means he's adding up in reducing Ghana's unemployment you know, rate. So you're, you've done well for doing that. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank All you. right. All right. So basically tell us what goes on with your work here. Um, well, our work here we, is making blocks, but we, uh, the, the machine is very diversified. You, you can make blocks, you can make um, bricks and, you know, paving stone and all different types of blocks okay. that people will need for their homes. Okay, so you have yeah. different types of measurement mm. and then the block design and all that. Yeah, okay. different type of mold okay. to make okay. different bricks. Yeah. Now, let me, cut in, let me cut in with this. I have heard it, I know you have heard it, that people say that this project is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this project is real. This is real. This is real me, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> and these are real behind us. Uh, we have a lot of people here behind us. And um, it's all real. And uh, everything is real. Yes. So, you see, the word is real. Everything he says, real, real. It means that something is really going on here. Now, Baron, I would love you to send a message to the african diaspora i mean from your heart about whatever is going on on the yasebo land in ghana to be specific west africa and then on the motherland tell them what is going on i mean the message well as you know uh, people you have to 
you know, you, 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 you never be free until you get out of, uh, of the slave master home, you know, and come back to your own land. You know, so you, you have to come back to your own land before you can be free. And nowadays, they're doing all kinds of things to you. So it's time to come home, you know, come back to your own land. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, you, you wake up every day and you go out and all you see is people like yourself, mm -hmm. you know, so you feel happy and you wake up to guarantee sunshine. You know, what more can you want? This is like heaven, <laughs> you know, comparing to most of where our people are, are living at the moment, you know. Yeah, come back home and be free and live your life and do your business, uh, do whatever you want to do, you know. And do your farming. I've seen you have a little farm over there. What do you, what do you, what do you have in there? Yeah, my farm, I've got um, okra, okay. I've got uh, some cabbages, mm -hmm. I've got some corn, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, um, so I'm like self-sufficient. Self <laughs> that, is, that is what I love. You know, you know, so at this point, you wouldn't spend a lot of money buying anything elsewhere. You would just, you know, harvest from your farm and enjoy the meal. Yeah. I talked about unemployment. And... You employing at least few people over there mm -hmm. is really great. Do you agree with me that this Asebu Pan-African project would also help the Asebu community itself? Oh, definitely. Yeah, the, um, you know, the local people here, they're very nice. And, you know, it's, it's good to do something that will benefit everyone. You know, because this this is benefiting the, our local people in the Sable, and it's also benefiting the people that's coming here. So it's benefit them to build, and you know, I mean, obviously we sell it for a, a, a lower price, <laughs> you know. But yeah, it, it's win-win situation for everyone, and we just hope other people can come and do something to to help the community so we can come and build you know we, we can build this place uh, so it's bigger than most um, state in america yeah. <laughs> you know um, yeah so Great. you know this is the biggest planet on the face of the earth so yeah. you know uh, the people shouldn't worry about you know coming uh, as if it can't hold them yeah. you know it can more than hold them right. So they can all come. come. It'll hold every black people in the diaspora. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, the last thing is, if someone is interested in purchasing the bricks, what does the person do? What okay, people here are, are abroad. They can always just call me. Okay. You know, uh, they can WhatsApp me. Mm -hmm. um, my number is like 055 three six one triple eight two so it's uh zero five five three six one triple eight two much for checking us out bye yeah.